A University of Maryland student is in the hospital tonight after a car hit him overnight in College Park. And tonight, police are looking for the driver of that car. It happened early this morning at Route 1 and Cherry Hill Road, just a few miles from where another student was struck and killed just last week. Tom Rousey is live in College Park with the latest tonight. Tom? And Allison, in this morning's incident, Prince George's County Police told me they're not sure if the student was trying to cross Route 1 that way or if he was coming this way. But what they do know is right when he got to the point in the northbound lanes about where that blue car is right now, he was hit by a driver and it was a driver that didn't stop. It's almost eerie. Last week at 2 a.m. on Friday morning, 22-year-old Corey Hubbard, an athletic University of Maryland student, was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver on Route 1 near campus. Flash forward exactly one week later, again on a Friday at 2 a.m., again on Route 1, and again it's a hit-and-run driver who slams into what police believe was a Maryland student. This time, police believe the student will survive. That's very shocking. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. The student hit this morning was on a part of Route 1, still in College Park, but more than two miles north of last week's accident. Unlike where Hubbard was killed, this is not a popular late night spot. At 2 o'clock in the morning now. This is a pretty uh, desolate area in the middle of 2 o'clock in the morning. Police believe the man hit this morning had been drinking. He was not at a crosswalk. People here say jaywalking is common. I cross it sometimes. People getting off the bus with me, they cross it as well. Especially during the weekends. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it happens a lot. Although the suspect from last week turned himself in, students say two hit and runs in seven days worries them. It shows that people who injure other people aren't even willing to stop and make sure they're okay. They just drive away. Maryland's spring semester hasn't started yet, so both accidents happen when most students aren't even around. That really surprises me that there was two hit and runs in one week during a break. Like that surprises me more than anything else. This part of Route 1 is very busy at rush hour, but not so, folks tell me, at 2 in the morning. In this morning's instance, police say that they are looking for what they believe to be either a green station wagon or possibly a green Subaru. As far as the victim, we're told he's in the hospital, but expected to make it. He has not been identified. Live tonight in College Park in Prince George's County, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.